Hello everybody, Jimmy is Promo here, and I'm going to do a little video, a little explanation of exactly how does the Gear VR work, and how do you get so immersed in all of these 360 degree scenarios that is going on inside of the Gear VR. We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. So as you guys can tell, I did take off the very front panel here, and all it does is give it a little cool factor as well as protect the Note 4 that's inside of there. Now it does not work with the Note 4 Edge, and the only reason is because the Note 4 is the main flagship device. The Note 4 Edge is actually just a variant, as well as the molding was made for the Note 4. So the Note 4 is the screen, the battery, the processor, the storage, the sound, the everything. I will have to say one of my favorite things with the Note 4 powering everything is that the 3.5 head jack is available to where you'd be able to plug in a headset to it. Or because it is a cell phone, you'd be able to Bluetooth it to a headset. You'd be able to Bluetooth it to a sound bar with a subwoofer and fully get immersed in what is going on. So on the very top of the Gear VR, you'll notice the dial, and this is for your eyesight. So what is happening is it's actually bringing the phone either closer or further away from your eyesight to where you'd be able to focus for all the different visions out there. Now you also have the touchpad, back button, as well as the volume up and volume down. So how this connects into the phone is on the very bottom here where your USB 2.0 is at, that is where the connector is, and it's acting as if it is a mouse connected to your phone to where you'd be able to turn it up, turn it down, swipe forward, swipe back, swipe up, swipe down, tap to select, as well as the volumes. Now, inside of here, you notice these little lenses. So just so you guys know, these lenses do an eight time magnify, which is bringing you closer to this phone, which is giving you that full in-depth, you're in the experience type of moments. Now also, when you plug this inside of the USB 2.0 on the bottom, what'll happen is this will run on multi-window. So if you've seen other videos online with the Gear VR, You'll notice that there's going to be a screen over here and then a screen over here. And that is because what's happening is with the two lenses being separate, now each eye has its own screen you'd be able to watch. And then you also have the accelerometers and the gyroscopes inside of the Note 4 that when you move around, that is where it is being extremely active with your head turning and there is no lag. Now, also what's going on is once you plug this in, it is going to be running the application referred to as Oculus. Now with Oculus, what happens is it will read the phone in different folders. So as example, let's say that you have a movie on your phone storage and a movie on your SD storage. As long as you have it in the correct folder in both areas, your Gear VR will read both of them at the same time. Example, on my device storage, I do have a folder I made referred to as Oculus. Inside of there, I did put in the folder of movies. I also made the folder of my videos, so I'd be able to put a movie inside of there, referred to as the interview, that I'd be able to watch inside of the movie theater, the home theater, the moon, or void. It's the exact same folders that comes with the SD card with the Gear VR, referred to as Oculus, movies, my videos, and then this is where you'd be able to place it onto the SD card to play it in any of those areas. Now, if you have a 3D movie, I'm not talking about a 360 video. I'm talking about a 3D movie that pops out from the screen. Then you'd be able to make a folder inside of my videos, refer to as 3D, and make sure you make 3 and then the large D. Then you'd be able to put the movie inside of there that is in the 3D format to where you'd be able to watch it. So this is basically how it is all ran. You place this inside of the Gear VR. It's going to open up the Oculus application or the Oculus folder. And then it's going to start reading everything here that you have saved onto your device. So I hope that this video here has helped you out better understand what is really going on. It is basically running with multi-screen as well as the eight time magnify lenses is immersing you inside of those areas with the gyroscopes inside of here that is making it spin all around to where it is gonna be no lag and it's literally as if you are somewhere else along with the screen, the sound, the power, the processor, everything else is coming from the Note 4 that all of the functions on the side of the Gear VR is being ran from the USB on the bottom as if it was a mouse and this just adds the cool factor. So I hope this video here has helped you guys out. Make sure you guys hit on like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.